Well, hello, and here I am again back with... Oh, this thing, it's just a joy. Um, Right, okay, so first things first. I woke up this morning and um, got sent by somebody, a dear friend, a link to a forum. And normally forums are very negative places, and uh, I'm being honest... I used to go on them, I used to love going on them in actual fact, but I got so sick of it being a rat's nest of evil. <laughs> it's, it, they just, I don't know, I, I don't know what forums do, but they attract people who probably never play one of these, and then they sit there moaning about it, saying, this is horrible, that is horrible, blah, 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 blah. And I just can't bear it anymore, so I don't. I don't go on them. So when somebody sent me a link to say, look at this, of course, your heart sinks and you think, oh, God, what they put. Um, and I'm absolutely bamboozled by the comments, um, only from the fact that, and they are right, I don't look at these things from a sales point. I couldn't give a damn whether you buy one or not. I don't care. Um, never have. And I, <laughs> in the industry that I work in, we have um, photocopier salesmen, and um, they are the most lowest of the low when it comes to sale tactics. But I just don't ever think that I would ever trust anybody anymore, because wherever you go, somebody tries to sell you something because they think they're going to make a lot of money out of you. And don't get me wrong, they do. Uh, you know, you'll walk in there wanting a, I don't know, a harmonica, and you walk out there with a harp. Because they've convinced you that this is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, And that's happened to me two or three times where I've gone in wanting something and sort of been convinced slowly that this isn't really the one that you want. It's like the old um, Star Wars thing, you know, these are not the droids you're looking for. No, this isn't the keyboard you're looking for, but it is. This is the keyboard that you're looking for. Um, It ticks all the boxes in all the right places. Some of the keyboards have things that you think, wow, listen to that. But after three or four times of playing it, you're going to get bored. And you're really going to get bored. And then you're going to think, where do I get some new rhythms? Where do I get some new styles? I can't. There is nowhere to get them. This is where Yamaha has the golden goose. Because everybody supports Yamaha products. Hell, even other companies use Yamaha styles. You know, if you go out and buy, for example, I'm going to say a Verzi organ, you will be guaranteed to be told you want to load all the Yamaha rhythms into it. Why? Because the existing ones don't cut the mustard. There's only one company that's ever really made fabulous styles, and that is the big why. Um, And this is where Genos 2 takes it to that next step. And I'm glad that they've changed the file format because it'll stop people copying and ripping off their software and sticking it into other organs and saying, listen to this, this is wonderful. Yeah, no, it's not. What you're actually listening to is something from a Yamaha. It shouldn't be allowed. Um, I'm getting on my high horse now. But anyway, I'm talking getting on my high horse. I'm on a Western Waltz. <laughs> Talk about perfect segue into something. Um, I'm just looking through the country and Western styles. I wanted to show you this because this is beautiful.
It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's just so clean. OTS4. Don't like that. There's there's a few OTSs that you, you sort of go along the way, up, up till three was going lovely, and then four, I don't want the harmony on there. I want to go, I don't want Seattle strings, definitely not. I want a country violin, a fiddle. So let's go in and see if we have a fiddle. Do we have a fiddle? Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh yeah, look, can't it well. It's just such a nice start. And in. That's just the perfect length for me to grab a cup of <laughs> juice, have a quick swig and come back. It's just perfect, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so my my point being is, and this is what I'm trying to trying to get across to to everybody with this. I think the days of um, being wowed are definitely not over. I mean, like I said to you, I looked at the Catron. I've, I've reviewed the Catron. I've reviewed I've reviewed the Korg. Um, somebody actually put. I want you to do the Korg next. If you look at my videos. I did a, an hour and a half at the Korg. Um, and somebody's put a comment saying, oh, you had a fallout with Korg. No, I haven't had a fallout with Korg. Um, the people at Korg are lovely guys. Um, and I just love this whole thing with forums where there's always got to be a battle with someone. You know, you can't just sort of decide that this isn't for you and you, you walk away. Oh, no, you've got a full bitch fest and actually come away with punches. No, I didn't. I, um, I love the guys at Korg. Korg's a nice product. It just ain't for me. Um, and it isn't for me because I like to, while I'm playing, adjust things while I'm playing. This is a joy to do that. It always has been. Yamaha has this reputation for ease of use. And it is the most easiest instrument to buy and play. Um, I mean... <laughs> You know, you, you can literally take this out of the box and sound like this. You know, I have to explain in the PA um, video that I did change some of the, the EQ and a few of the other things. And I actually gave up trying to even attempt to change reverb. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. So I haven't fallen out with anybody. You know, if, if Korg were to come to me tomorrow and say, have a look at this. This is the new way it works, and it's easier, and it, it's it's more intuitive. I'd jump at it. But this is the gold standard, and it still is the gold standard when it comes to ease of use. Everything's in front of you. You've got your sound. I can choose simply by tapping there, or I can choose my sound over here. That's disappeared on the 5X. 
buttons to choose your voices have gone. It's just, I don't know. Like I said to you, it's, it's preference. It's personal choice. There is no one perfect product for everybody because everybody's different. So this whole idea of having to fit with something just don't work. Whereas this is my baby. I love, I love the way Yamaha works. I love the way it sounds. I love the way everything just sounds complete. It doesn't sound like something's been pulled in from somewhere else and sort of bolted on. Um, it sounds like everybody works together. It sounds like a band at the end of the day. Right, anyway, I'm rambling on like an old fishwife. Um, gentle folk ballad. I'd be careful how to say that one. Just check, see what instrument I've got. nice with the uh, tambourine in the background let's see what the ending on this is like <laughs> that is one of my all time favourite sounds like I said to you I love country stuff so, and it's funny because until Genos came along, country and western stuff in Tyros 5 really never featured to the, the level. I think Yamaha went out to Nashville and spent some time out there on a holiday um, because when Genos came along, it had so much, much, much better um, country and western styles. And this is still the case. I mean, we've got pages of these. We've got six pages. Country star. Um, I mean, like I say, I, I, every day I'm sitting at this, and I'm bouncing like a frog from one lily pad to another, just listening to stars. And I can't remember having hit the same one twice. So there's there's loads of sh um, stuff <laughs> in here. Okay, we've got piano on OTS-1. Whoa, this is a bit of a jolly... Oh, wow, listen to that bass. Ooh. Two, three, four. It's little details like that that you notice the massive difference in this instrument compared to the other one. Uh, and again this morning I've seen, oh, again this morning I have seen people going, ah, it's only the same thing in a different book. No, it's not. Please stop making yourself look so damn stupid. I could understand it if somebody... I mean, again, I've seen this morning. Who's actually got one? Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's saying, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. And, and yet everybody's coming out with these comments saying, oh, it's the same thing, it's the same. It's not the same bloody thing. Um, it's <laughs> it's all new. Can you not take some advice and stop making yourself look daft? Because posting comments like that, you've just been dismissed. And, and I do remember all the names... There's one um, that particularly comes to mind. And every time I see a comment, it's just stupid. You know, go and do something with your life. Don't just sit there making yourself look daft on the internet. There's much better things to do out there. Um, right, country circles. Let's see what this one does. 
Oh, come on. You know what this is before you've even started. Now, where's the... Let me just check. Now, come on. Whoever's done OTS for this, that shouldn't have been piano. I know what that should have been. And if I'd have gone to the uh, page through... I love this thing. That's what it should have been for the first OTS. That's what it should have been. It shouldn't have been that piano. That that just this is this is little little detail. But as I said to you, I'm finding the OTS all sort of a bit bit not 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 my cup of tea. It was not what I'd have picked. Let's let's face it, because as soon as you hear that intro, you immediately know it's Johnny Cash. Okay, it's a different. Now, there's even better in here because in the um, in some of the country. Uh, styles. There's an OTS that combines. I can't remember what the instruments are now. I, I was going to make a note because it combines a guitar and another guitar lower, and it has this real country, old country tone. just ace. Just going to go in and put that bass up just a tiddle. That's better. Again, when you get into this, you'll sit there and you'll think, "Ah, oh, this is this is mine. I'm going to make a bank of registrations." Um, like I said to you, there are some really incredible OTSs, but there's a few where you just won't want to use that. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think you can. I'm sure I can't actually overwrite the presets. It's just a shame because then you have to copy the style and then create your own uh, OTS. So it's a bit of a shame that, but. You know, maybe maybe there'll be an update. Who knows? Uh, let's go and have a look. See what else we got in this wonderful world of country and western. Sixties um, country pop. Oh God! <laughs> It's definitely there, isn't it? You know what it is. I don't want to play it because I'll get copyright hit.
Absolutely brilliant. And finally, we have what I would class a rhythm that uses the doo wops for an absolute belting use. Um, that is so cleverly done. Um, you know, that reminds me of I Remember You. Is that also can be used for that? Clever, 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 clever star creation. Wonderful. I'm trying to remember the song. I know the song, but I can't recall. Da 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 uh, yeah, I, I can't remember the song. That's not going to come to me, that one. It's, that's beyond my mental list. I, I have a, pretty much a jukebox in my head, but that's fallen off the list of playlists. I'm sorry. Ah. Definitely um, a diamond of a song, hint, hint. Uh, 70s country pop. Let's have a look at this one. Don't be a hero, is it? You know, I'm pretty good at detecting these. This is becoming a bit of a game show. Um, something Don't Be a Hero, was it? Danny Don't Be a Hero? Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, Country and Western, if you're a fan of the old Yeehaw. Oh. See, this is the I'm I'm starting to pick full. Oh my god, I've spent too long with it. No, my only thing is, I, if I'm going to go through a series of voices where I start off with with nice mellow tones, I want to stick with mellow tones. I don't suddenly want to go really sharp. Um, start with sharp and then move to mellow. Maybe I don't know. I, I, I'm not telling you how to do your job, but I just there's a few things there that I wouldn't particularly use with that particular. OTS, but the style is... In fact, sorry. I, badly. Um, I wanted to show you the, the style. So this is a session one.
Gandil. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Um, country Swing Ballad. This is becoming another demo, isn't it? I don't mean for these to become this, but I just want to go through stuff. I just really want to go... Oh, God. That was good before, but this... Listen to the piano. See, no, no. The... The intro has piano. Your first OTS. Why, why is it that? It, it shouldn't be that. It should be piano. See, that, that works more if I'm starting the rhythm now. Listen. Need to add some reverb. makes sense. so much better whoever's doing whoever's done the OTS my advice and it's worth nothing I know that but my advice would be if you're going to have a lead instrument that comes in keep that lead instrument as your first choice because why would the piano do all this and then you go to no it doesn't it doesn't just doesn't hmm. yeah you get my point don't you I mean do you agree do you think that would be the best Piano would be the best option. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, no. Country swing. Now it's got piano. Somebody's obsessed with harmonica. sort of style you could play with days. is nice that's really nice piano great i just don't like these harsh strings that suddenly kick in the middle it doesn't suit the style it, it doesn't it's not in that sort of feel they're a bit too 
it, it's just grating. Get me a cheese grater. Let's get rid of those. That's better. It's the right one that's causing the, the scrape. Jazz violin. to have come ah, ah, what a great ending yeah absolutely great ending yeah so my only down my only downer has been so far and this is just I don't know just a few of the settings on the OTS this that that is that is just way too there's cats in the street outside making a run for it No, I'm definitely taking out that jazz violin. That's better. It's the piercing top end. But Oh, no, but No. Right, okay, so that's Country Swing. Um, but this is an absolutely incredible collection of styles. <clears throat> Let's go and try Nashville Ballad. I'd have put money on there being a guitar there. That's better. That's a nice string combination. Do you know, I'd happily take this out to a country and western night and play this because those. That's to what voice are we? Pedal steel guitar one. That is just incredible. It's great. Do you know what? I'm thinking back to when all this began. 
Um, somebody said on one of my um, videos, how old were you when you started to play? I was six, and that was a long time ago. Um, and I had organs for, oh God, a long time. And then Yamaha went out and bought out this keyboard. I remember getting the leaflet shoved through the door from Macclesfield Organ Centre at the time. And funnily enough, I spoke to a lovely guy called Kevin, who actually worked at Macclesfield Organ Centre and now works at, well, in fact, he's worked for Yamaha for a long time. And we just happened to catch up on the phone the other day, and it was like a walk down memory lane. Because all the stuff that I had from there as a child, um, it all started off with a Gelanti. Anybody remember a Gelanti organ? My God, it was, yeah, bonfire night would have been happy. Um, then it went to a, what did I have after that? It was a Gelanti and then I, oh yeah, it was a Rear Philharmonic. Now everybody remembers the orchestra, the Rear Orchestra. And um, it was the one that Brian Sharp played. But I got the next model down, which was the orchestra, which happened, and you're going to laugh at this, but I couldn't play on, well, I could play, but most of the time when I played it, if the fridge in the kitchen kicked in, the compressor kicked in on the fridge, it would turn the Leslie on and off on the organ. <laughs> so I'd be sat there playing, and all of a sudden, the, the Leslie would start, and think, ah, okay, the fridge is cooling down. Um, it was so funny. And then Yamaha launched something called a PSS 6100. Uh, and I remember getting the leaflet through for it, and I was desperate, absolutely desperate for one. And it was like, you remember the Techniques KN7000? It was like that. Everything was closed, and you lifted the lid, and all the buttons are on the panel. It was £1,999. And that was back... God, when was that back? It was... I'm sure it was the eight, very, very early 80s, because um, I would have been not not much older. Um, and I never got one. Never got one. I, I begged and pleaded, and my parents... Just, I think they wanted to stick me with the organ as opposed to going to this keyboard thing that appeared that would never take off. Keyboards are a thing of the... No, 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 you don't want one of them. You want an organ. So then I ended up actually partying with the organ. And, um, yeah, I did actually go over to another company. I went to Roland. Went to a Roland E80. But the 6100 was something I always wanted. Uh, and a few months... Well, not a few months back, actually. Probably last year, I think it was. Um, I saw one. First time ever for in a, many, many, many years. And I got to play it. And I thought, my God, what happened here? <laughs> because let's not forget technology back then. You know, if you made an 8-bit sound, it was breathtaking. So to hear something from the past, you have fun memories. But when you actually come to it now, it's like, oh, um... Yeah, or maybe I won't buy this. Um, and I didn't, obviously. Uh, but uh, it was just nice to have a blast of the past. But I tell you what, when you actually see Yamaha's, where Yamaha's come from and now where it is now, my God, I mean, if you'd had this, if I'd had this as a kid, it just have been, you know, I mean, children know, I mean, I'm sounding old, aren't I? Children nowadays are so lucky. They don't know they're born. But really, if you get one of these, you've got no comprehension of, of what sort of, standard you're giving your 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 young child to to learn with um and even back then as i said to you my my rear <laughs> not not my rear my rear organ um <laughs> if that used to switch on with the fridge i don't know what did um but um my rear at the time i had i had, i loved it i really did because it had little lights and all that sort of thing move on to today and this this thing is just it's breathtaking you know i and i keep saying it in all the videos I could rip this bit thing to bits because, as I say, I'm not being... Oh, that was another thing. I bet he's been paid to demo this. Oh, no, I'm not. I can, I can tell you one thing for sure as hell. I'm not getting a penny for any of this. The one thing I'm getting from this is the enjoyment and knowing that I'm not making somebody else go down the route of buying a keyboard and it's a bag of nails and you spend four and a half grand on it and you think, oh, what should I... What? <laughs> I bought the wrong one. You haven't bought it. This is the one you should be buying. Um, so there you go. Anyway, I'm, why am I rambling on like I don't know. Maybe I'm reminiscing. I'm getting old, you see. This is what it is. 
Uh, I've been into the easy listening section. In fact, I haven't done a lot in the easy listening section other than page one. Easy 60s band leader pop. Yeah, can you tell me what this is from? Unless I know. Okay, that's led me nowhere. Let's see what intro two does. Oh, that does. is ace proper foot tapper It just it just takes you songs just immediately I can't talk and play as you noticed Ending. That is just, yeah, it's so much. I <laughs> never, never before have I been so lost to this. I keep saying the same thing. It's brilliant. It's fabulous. It's great. It's wonderful. It's brilliant. It's fabulous. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sample them, put them to the OTS, and then I can save myself saying it. Seriously, guys, the, the, these are just um, yeah, they're 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 another level. They really are another level. Um, and okay, Luke's may be deceiving. It does look like a giant, a giant, a Genos two, uh, Genos one. It does. I'm, I've had the Genos one out this morning. In actual fact, I'm just filling off. Oh, let me just try something while I'm here. I, sorry, I I was making a style this morning, um, and I wanted to see if. My style from the Genos One. So, styles that you create on the Genos 1 will work perfectly on here. Let me just um, check an ending. (laughs) 
Yeah, it works. There you go, Luke. So there you know. So if you've got that question of will my styles that I've made on Genos 1 work on Genos 2, the answer is yes, they do. Uh, sorry, I de deviated there off my... Uh, I do have a train of thought anyway, so what am I bothering about? Uh, now let's, let's go into Retro Pop, because we have not been in there. Uh, I'm just wondering what to look for for some 70s sofa... Ballad. Have I, have I done this one before? Let me check. Yeah, I have. I have. So I did. I have been in retro pop. The one I haven't really done much in uh, is the uh, dance. I tried the folk tron folk folk tronica. Try and say that when you've had a few. Uh, Reggaeton DJ I tried tens electro pop. Is that a tens machine? Oh. One of the things I do want to try, I'm sorry, I'm deviating again. I'm just thinking to myself, what am I going to do? Um, I've got some audio files that I've scraped off the internet um, of a few sort of chart hits. Um, and I want to try and find some styles to marry up. So I'm going to do that as a video as well. Because um, I've got some, the, uh, what's his name? Ginger Lad, plays guitar. Oh, what's his name? God. Ginger lad plays guitar. Could be anybody, couldn't it? Um Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Um the um the vampire one where he flies over the I'll I'll show you in the video. But anyway, there's some really great lyrics. That's a super song that I play. Um however I need to find a rhythm for that. So I'm gonna actually have a lot of fun trying to reconnect all my um things, all my own software sounds and things to to this because this this th i mean this is going to make them sound so much better um really is so anyway i'm back into what am i back in i'm back in dance uh spain pop 10 spain pop something I'm doing. baseline that's a long ending wow that is a long ending wow Spain Spain pop uh, what else have we got I'm looking for some names that I haven't Ibiza 2010. What was so special about Ibiza 2010? Okay. That's cool with them. So 
that's the voice I was looking for to, on f- number one. <laughs> that isn't really something you start. If you, go, <laughs> God, how am I, I going to put this into words? Right. Okay. So that intro leads you in, and you're naturally going to play a melody. You're not going to do. piano would have been better as the first OTS. Because it's more of a melodic tone, so it's it's naturally going to be the voice you want to play. And you go. So that isn't really, they need swapping around. Um. piano and definitely those two three and four need pulling to the front one and two need pushing to the back um personal taste don't shout at me um but i think that would be more musical to lead into a voice that you can play as a melody but that is a good style Very good. Let's listen to the ending. That's good. That's really nice. That's really, really good rhythm. And I wouldn't have thought that, seeing the date on it, because I thought, why would you put a rhythm from 2000? What happened in Ibiza in 2010 that we should all know about? Did the team from Yamaha go on a holiday? Maybe. Maybe it was one of the best holidays ever. Um, I'm just wondering, actually, does that tie in with the launch of any particular product in Ibiza? I don't know. Um, Club dance. And again, this is an old one that I've heard before. Um, Let's see what it sounds like now. Different. Oh, I feel dizzy after that. Did you hear that? That's a bit cool. Get ready. Oh, yeah. What was he on when he did that style? But anyway, let's let's go to the style. sounds a bit older than the other ironically that sounds older than the 2010 that's a very sort of oldie worldy dancey sort of style electronica is one that was previously uh, i've seen that before okay Orchestration is slightly different in terms of voicing. That's the 
first one I've heard that seems to be as per the original, but just slightly different voiced. Uh, it's not, not, yeah, not good. I'm not going to slate it. Rock your yeah, beatbox. Oh God, what's this going to do? Boots and cats and boots and cats. <laughs> what? Well, hang on a minute. What? What? Oh my god, who? Oh, yeah, okay, let's have a listen. here that I would actually let's get rid of all that stuff uh, stick a CFX that wants some nice delay some reverb let's go to effects let's go and turn on uh, let's assign right one let's pick on Okay, we've got that. Let's go to stick some reverb on. Do you know, this rhythm isn't something I would normally use, but it's just so intriguingly weird. stick a pad on there because that electric piano with dance music not really my bag no actually you know that's sign sphere is lovely That's just... Now, come on. Let's go down the avenue here that not everybody's going to like this, but I love it. It's just... That is so, 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 so much fun. I mean, it's obviously Rocky, baby. Rocky, baby. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, what's his name? Oh, my God, I'm back on this again. The skinny lad. Drove past his house. Um... <laughs> And no, seriously, I have driven past his house um, when we went uh, on holiday. Uh, let's have a look. 
Let's see what intro one's like, because if, if, if I'm guessing, there's going to be some vocal here. Beep, rip the beatbox. Rip the beatbox. I, I, it's just bags of fun. It really is bags and bags of fun. Uh, so again, like I said to you, if you're going to do something, nice sort of Rob up Milesly, Milesly, a Miles style piano. Um, just it needs to be a bit brighter. Um, <clears throat> but that then gives you the ability to to do novelty stuff with a novelty style. You know, you. Uh, Hey, the big room, and it is a big room. Let's have a listen to this. See again, same. What the what? That that. Why is it that they they've started putting pluck voices at the beginning of dance me? I mean, am I supposed to do something with that? That's a bad. Oh, Most of you aren't going to sit there playing arpeggios, are you? When you start a song, you're not going to. And it's not. It's not. Oh God, I'm starting to pick full. Um, it should be the other way around. That's just a cop out, though. I don't believe that. No, nope. sorry, don't agree with that. Not in the workplace. Right. <laughs> See, same again. Is there a formula that Yamaha's working to of having plucked voice for the first? I don't know. Um, two and four. Move two and four to one and three. Move one and three to two and four. Should be the other way around. Okay, I can't stand much more of this. This is, this is, um, I'm knackered. <laughs> this is Dixie. I hope you're playing all this fast stuff. Um, no, I think my, my observation, if I was to pick any criticism with this keyboard, and trust me, I can't. Uh, I, I've, st I've still put divorce papers in with the Genos one. It's going through. She ain't happy, I'll tell you. Um, but this one is now my now true love. Um, it, it's, um, some of the things I can get over because I, I, me personally, not going to use all the OTSs. Um, but it's one of those that I'd like to. I mean, as I said to you, the OTSs for some of the stuff in here, I could sit and play a concert without even programming anything. But I just get a feeling that some of the stuff's not been, I don't know, properly sort of looped or somebody musical hasn't. 60s Rock Rebel. I've moved departments, by the way. I'm in rock now. Uh, I'm just going to flick around in here for 10 minutes. In fact, what time is it? Oh, my Lord, I've been on here now. Do you know, time flies when I start these things. I only mean to make a 10-minute video. And before you know it, I'm up to an hour. How can I top that? <laughs> that's a great piano. You won upright. That's a new piano. Yamaha U1.
Now, coming from Stoke-on-Trent, and just in the next town is where Robbie was born. It's the first thing it goes to, isn't it? You can easily play that with this style. That's a really... That's a great effect on the guitar. There's another one. I met him. <laughs> did seriously. Yeah, met him, met him. Went to see him in concert. And uh, I got every single program. I've seen him four times with this whole show, the War of the Worlds thing. And uh, got every program signed apart from one. And I was gutted. So I sent a message to his management company and they said, if you can get to Manchester in the next hour, he will sign it for you at the Midland Hotel. And he did. It was one of the most amazing experiences of my life, meeting my idol was jeff wayne um incredible but that that's that's obviously designed for that but i'll tell you what you can do that and that what is it where is it that is a solo ace and what a guitar What a belter. I'm going to do something with that, definitely. Um, honestly, where's the, where the, that solo ace? That'd be great for blues. Actually, let me... What am I doing? I'm wasting your time, aren't I? Let me have it for some sort of blues. Um, I'm going to turn... Yeah, it's off. Right, let's have a quick look. Uh, where, where be the blues? R and B. There we go. That makes sense, doesn't it? Let's see the blues. Let's see what the blues is like. Hoping this is going to get good because this is good already.
Oh yeah, that is just just that sounds what the slightly different, but that I like that guitar that. Needs a bit more reverb for that. For me, <clears throat> that piano is a bit dry. That's better. Hell yeah, that's uh, that's uh, oh, that's the dogs. That is um, Southern Soul. Hang on. Super Groove. I'm intrigued. It says Session. Let's see what this is. Yeah, definitely. Stay, um, sound seal delivered. Definitely. Definitely. Sorry. Southern, Southern Soul. Just intrigued. Uh, oh, there we go. Listen to those drums. Hoping for a sax somewhere, but I've got an organ instead. Try the ending. Dead or alive. Play what you want to this. Uh, right, okay. So I'm going to wind down because I'm going to bore the knickers off you. It's, what time is it? It's quarter past, uh, yeah, hour and a quarter. I'm so sorry. I only meant to do a 10 minute video on um, country and this is what happens. Um, so, in actual fact, you know, if I add up all the time that I've had this now, three days, and I still haven't touched the sites. So, that shows you something. Um, the other instruments I've had, I had probably 24 hours, one day, of the WoW. Um, and then that was me sort of kind of, not dumb but that was me sort of thinking okay I, what can I do to add stuff to this now um and this is the thing I always try to explain to people is it's not just about buying the keyboard it's about what's going to happen afterwards and you know you can get styles from everywhere I mean I've always always held high regard for do styles in Germany they make some really great stuff Yamaha obviously make packs, and they are... I've not even installed the other two packs on this yet. I'm going to have to do that when I get a chance to come back. Um, so I'll go through those as well. Uh, but, yeah, as I said to you, I've not even touched the sides. It's just... Um, I don't know what I'm going to... I keep getting lost for words, and I don't do this normally, because you know what I'm like. I'm a gobby so-and-so. But I do honestly believe that this is just a phenomenal amount of work and everybody's saying six years what six years? six you can see the six years are worth of work in this i mean this doesn't take 
doesn't happen overnight. I mean, anybody who's got half a brain realizes how long it takes to sample stuff, how long it takes to make styles of this standard. Uh, and then obviously somebody in a, a, a lab, <laughs> imagine this Yamaha lab, um, other, other keyboard manufacturers and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, and they're there sort of doing testing because this has just surpassed everything else out there. Um, so it's got to be put together in a way that it all works and it all does simply work. I've not had a bug. Nothing's crashed. Nothing's tried to bite me. Uh, there's been no booby traps, as our friend Mr. Michelle Vonken used to say. I used to love his um, demonstrations. Michelle, if you're out there, you, I'd love to see you get something out of these. Um, he was a very, very fun and lively entertainer. And again, just that's what you need. You need fun. You don't want somebody stuffy doing demonstrations. You want somebody who's going to tell you the the you know this is what it's going to sound like once you've got it at home this is what happens um so a shout out to michelle um i don't know what you're up to nowadays i know you've got your music school and um but yeah i mean i'd love to see you playing one of these um so as for the um content 10 out of 10 um styles i'm still i'm still not finished um I say R and B. I'm only on page one, and there's how many of those? Six, six of those. Uh, Texas blue. Oh, just let me. I'm going to show you because I, I don't want to. Texas blues. I mean that name sounds intriguing. Oh yeah. for something like belting like that to that that's better that needs more reverb it definitely needs not necessarily that reverb either let's have a look at the shape that's more like it left hand oh yeah I knew there'd be an organ oh I'm I'm in heaven could be here for weeks this is memory 10 that i am going to be using that after this video probably for another three hours that has just gone to my top list texas blues what a bloody belter um right what a way to end the show show <laughs> demo um god i'm thinking i'm on stage here um this is just stunning i mean 
let me just try intro two because intro two is just Steve V eat your arms out. That is I bet your foot's tapping as you're listening to this. If it isn't, you something's wrong with you. Right, I'm off. I'm gonna be. I'm like a. I'm like a what with two two what's it's right. Okay, I'm gonna go, guys. But thank thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be shed loads more stuff coming. I can guarantee you. Um, and things like that. I, I I'll do some sort of little additional tweaks with the OTS because that isn't. It's good, but it's it's not. I could be so much better. And it's as 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 dry as a. Um. So there you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go away and have a play with this and add some more effects and and play around because you can create some incredible OTS stuff for this. Oh, right. I'm gonna have a lie down, a uh, quick drink, and then I'm coming back. And uh, I'll. This is it for today. I won't have anything um, online now for a couple of days because I'm gonna be busy away. Um, but if you are watching and you're enjoying this, and um, please give me a, a little thumbs up, even just say hello. You know, I love. I had a, a message. It was actually quite nice. It was in fact I was really quite touched. Uh, a message from a chap uh, in America who um, was asking questions and he wanted to know particular things um, that he couldn't find anywhere else. So I've spent a little time with him and he's decided he he has he's made the decision. He's gone for it. And, and it's little things like that where I can show somebody what you need to know. Um, you're not going to always find this from a store because not every store has an expert in it. And, and I hate to big myself up. I'm never away from this. I spend morning, noon and night sat at one of these. Uh, and I, I know it like the back of my hand. It's become a dear old friend. Um, so if you, there's anything you want to know, drop a message. Uh, always happy to answer. And uh, a major, major thank you. If you have subscribed to the channel, big, big thank you to you. you you're, you're an absolute diamond. Okay, guys, until next time, I'll say a very fond farewell. Look after yourselves. Have a good week and uh, ta-ta.